The Parliament says yes to a common European patent, but as all 27 member states cannot agree on it, only 12 will take up the challenge. Croatia is on its way to joining the European Union. It could become the 28th member state by 2013 or 14. And the rest of today's news in brief. Had a eureka moment? Then you'll need to apply here for a patent before someone else cashes in. But under the current system, you'll have to fork out €10,000 for translation, meaning only those with deep pockets can afford to protect their inventions. We need to create more inventions and exploit them more. It is absolutely indispensable that we have a competitive patent system. Under the new system of enhanced cooperation, a small number of EU countries can forge ahead with legislation. In this case, 12 countries want an EU patent translated into three languages, French, English and German. Normally a fan of the opt-out, the Conservative-led UK is in favour, to the displeasure of some. The Conservative Party had ever thought to patent lies, deceit and hypocrisy, they would have made a fortune in royalties. But other languages feel left out of the deal. Spanish is spoken by 85 million people. Of the three languages proposed for the patent system, only one is comparable in importance with Spanish. What criteria are used? Spain and Italy don't agree with it because they say, especially Spain is saying, that it is a world language, more important than French or German. But this is not the point. It's not about Latin America. It's about an EU patent. An EU patent. Though the Parliament voted for the trilingual deal, a landmark decision is expected from the European Court of Justice in March, which could mean back to the drawing board for a trilingual EU patent. Croatia's Prime Minister arrives at the European Parliament to brief political groups before a crucial vote on her country's EU accession. Most believe negotiations can be completed soon, making membership possible in 2013 or 14. Croatia's neighbours are enthusiastic. Coming from Slovenia, I really wish that Croatia will as soon as possible become a member of European Union. It's maybe too premature really to talk about the dates. It depends from Croatia. It still has six chapters to close, among them few very difficult ones. Problems remain over competition policy. Shipyard workers fear privatisation will cost them their jobs. There's a big clampdown on corruption. Former Prime Minister Ivo Sanader awaits extradition from Austria, and that may be just the tip of the iceberg. If you go for the top, then you're fighting it down to the root. Sometimes, when you're only working on the root, you miss the top. But in this case, you're showing that no one is going free. Despite judicial reform, court proceedings can still take years, and there are claims of the unequal treatment of war crimes allegations. Some in Croatia remain sceptical, but the government is sure EU enthusiasm will grow. After a very long uh, negotiations process, after a really comprehensive reform process, we believe that joining of the European Union is really achieving one of the key foreign policy objecti objectives, but also one of our key development objectives. Negotiations should be finished in time for EU leaders to reach agreement at their June summit, one day before the 20th anniversary of Croatian independence. 500 billion euros to save the euro. That's the amount on which Eurozone finance ministers agreed on Monday. The objective is to reassure the markets by doubling the lending capacity of the future European stability mechanism by 2013. The mechanism should replace the current support fund created in a hurry in 2010 when the Greek crisis was in full swing. No to child pornography on the internet. On Monday, MEPs on the Civil Liberties Committee proposed the removal of all child pornography material from web pages in every EU country. If removal is impossible, especially when it comes to sites outside Europe, member states could be authorised to block access to these sites. New rights for bus passengers. The Parliament adopted on Tuesday new obligations for companies. Compensation and assistance in case of accidents or cancellations and assistance to persons with reduced mobility. All these rights will apply to journeys of 250 kilometres or more.